and in this video I'm going to show you how to construct a tetrahedron which is one of the first platonic solids. So to begin we're going to create line segment AB and we are going to apply book 6 proposition 9 to divide AB into three equal segments. First we're going to construct a line on A with an arbitrary angle and with center A we are going to construct an arbitrary circle with radius L. At the end of L, construct a duplicate circle with radius M. And we'll do this again for the circle with radius N. So L, M, and N are equal segments. Now, at the end of radius N, we'll construct a line O that intersects point B. And we'll also construct lines P and Q parallel to line O. So according to Proposition 9, Book 6, L plus M is double of N, so therefore AC is double of CB. To continue, we construct a semicircle AB, and through point C, we construct a line R perpendicular to line AB. This will create the intersection point D. Let's construct line AD and with center C, construct a circle with radius CD. So now we are going to apply Book 4, Proposition 2, and inscribe an equilateral triangle in the given circle. So let's create the intersection point E, and we'll construct a circle with center E and radius EC, creating the intersection points F and G, and we'll create line FG. So by Book 1, Proposition 1, we have constructed an equilateral triangle, DFG, which is inscribed inside a circle. So to continue, we create line segments CF and CG, and now we are going to enter the 3D space. In this space, through point C, construct line S perpendicular to the plane DFG. As you can see, line S is at right angles with all the lines going through point C. Now, I'd like to point out that line AB and S are on a 2D plane. And in this plane, with center C, construct a circle with radius AC. And this will create the intersection point K. Finally, we construct lines DK, GK, and FK. And this construction results in the tetrahedron DFGK. So this is how Euclid constructed the first platonic solid more than 2,000 years ago. In a future video, I will prove that this is a regular tetrahedron. So like and subscribe so you don't miss that video. And thank you for watching.